Hi everyone, I hope that you are well. My name is Christiane and welcome to my channel Backpacking Bananas. I have just rocked up in the bus station of a brand new country. Ladies and gentlemen, I am in the country of Albania and I have never ever been here before. I just traveled across land from Montenegro from the capital city of Podgorica and it was literally like a one hour bus and I'm now in the city of Skodra. Skoda, Skodra in northern Albania and I'm going to be spending the next two weeks traveling from the north to the south of Albania which is very very exciting this is a country I've wanted to visit for a very very long time and I'm just walking to my accommodation at the moment uh, in this vlog we are going to be doing some hiking hopefully a lot of hiking actually there is a very famous hike in the north of Albania from the city of Valbona to Teh I've heard great things, but first, let's find my hostel. I just tried to get money out of the ATM because I believe they don't use euros here. They use their own currency. What the exchange rate is, I have no idea, but um, I was unsuccessful in getting cash out. It kept saying, I tried on two different cards and it kept saying that my transaction timed out. Not really sure what to do with that information. We'll try another ATM. This is cute. What an adorable little, little walking street. Before I head into my hostel, I'm actually just gonna head into Vodafone here if it's open. Is that open? Uh, I wanna get a SIM card. So I had no service in Montenegro and it didn't work for me. So, so I have to pay for the SIM card in cash and it's 2000 lek. Now, as we know, I haven't been able to get cash out of an ATM. Still no success getting cash. So I've told the girl at Vodafone that I'm just gonna check into my hostel. She's lovely. And then I'll see what I can do about trying to get some cash in order to get a SIM card. Um, but everything's like really close by and she said she's open until 9 p.m. It's currently 5.30. So I am en route to find the hostel, which I believe should be just down this road and very close by. Once I've done that and I've checked in, then I'll try and sort out the whole cash SIM card situation. Hopefully the hostel might even be able to help me with my issues. Here we are. The Wanderers Hostel. This is where everyone told me to stay. Is it in, is it in there? Yes. Okay, Thank you. okay, so I should have just gone to the hostel first because they were outrageously helpful. I've been given a full rundown of pretty much everything to do in the town, where to find all of the best things, where to get money out. So that's where I'm off to now. And then hopefully I'll be able to get my SIM card. Here it is by the poster Skiptar. This ATM around the side of the building is the one that's supposed to work, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, it worked. I've successfully got out 30,000 Albanian lek, which is 213 pounds. I just wanted to get out the maximum just to see me through the next few days at least, um, because apparently, well, I've already seen even in Vodafone, even in the shops where normally you can pay by card, everything is cash. Every single thing in this country is gonna be cash. So it's quite paramount that I get that Albanian lek out. And now that's done. So now I'm gonna head back to Vodafone and hopefully get this SIM card. Hello, I'm back. I have cash. So perfect. I have the SIM card sorted. We're getting things done. I have 35 gigs of data for 2000 lek, which is their like tourist package, which is fine. I think 35 gigs for two weeks should be enough for me. I did have a little wonder in the hostel to see if I could find anyone to go for dinner with. And there were people about, but my social anxiety like kicked in and I just didn't feel like approaching anyone. I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna go for dinner by myself. Maybe that will be nice. One restaurant that was recommended by the reception staff 
was called fissi and um, it's very traditional Albanian food. So I thought, what better first meal to have in Albania than to go there? So I'm gonna walk there now. I definitely want to go with something that's off their traditional dishes. So I'm thinking maybe this one. The baked meat with cheese from Middle Albania tradition. 450 lek. I'm chatting to Leah on FaceTime, which is why I'm talking. But here is my food, the traditional Albanian food. A new place, a new home. For a while, let me feel alive. After dinner, I passed what seemed to be an outdoor concert in the middle of the street. This guy just started chatting to me straight away. I get the impression that it isn't going to be hard to make friends here in Albania. Everyone who I've had contact with so far has been so friendly and really made me feel welcome and excited to be in this country. So although this vlog is short and sweet, my very first impressions of Albania so far in my first six hours arriving in the city of Skoda have been really positive. In the next video, I'm going to be leaving my bags in the Wanderers Hostel and heading out into the mountains to do the famous hike from Valbona to Teth. So please subscribe to my channel if you would like to stay up to date of what happens in this trip and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! I know, man, passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt